I didn't plan to spend the night in Eugene. Um, um, uh, and, um, alright. I stopped there to try to get some Wi-Fi. At this point, I had started to get nervous about whether or not I would have a place to stay in San Francisco. Most of the reason I wanted to stop in Eugene is because my landlady lives there and I wanted to see what kind of town it was. I found this cafe and ran in and asked them if they had Wi-Fi. I ran back to my car and got my laptop and I sat down and bought a snack. The cool thing was that there was this big sort of bluegrassy band playing free concert. That night I drove around until I found a place to park and I went to sleep. The next day I drove around, I went to a Salvation Army, I got a weird dress, I got my oil changed at the Jiffy Lube. They totally broke some little pieces of my car off. They never mentioned it. They did however take my address and send me junk in the mail. Thanks. I stayed around until all the shops opened up and I went into this little mall. It was the sort of place that you were inside and outside at the same time. It had a fancy little food store. I went in and bought some of the flagship cheese that I had sampled in this little cheese store in Seattle. I ate it right away. In the old barn that the coffee shop was in that I had explored last night. There were other sorts of green bike shops and sort of green leaning shops and there was this giant farm supply store slash hippie gift shop that I enjoyed checking out. After I had had my fill of Eugene, I hit the road, heading towards Crescent City, which is the city near the Redwood Forest.